Whoa, 2018 is actually here, if you can believe it. I can't believe it because Melina was born in 2011, and that means she's going to be seven this year, and that means I'm old. I'm not old. I'm still young. I'm 22. Can't you tell? Look, no wrinkles. <laughs> If you are new to my channel, my name is Wendy Valencia, and we are on a journey to pay off $250,000 plus worth of debt. That's dollars, y'all. That's a lot of debt. We are doing it as quickly as possible, trying to cut and scrimp where we can, but we are a family that will not give up absolutely everything. We will give up 95%, but we won't give up everything. My husband, Mauricio, was born and raised in Columbia, the country, not South Carolina. And then our daughter, Melina, is a Colombian American girl. We are currently living in Northern Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C., in the suburbs, and we have moved in with my parents. Yes. I am 45, and I live with my mommy and daddy. It's temporary. It's ending this year, no matter what, period. It is time to talk about our financial goals for 2018. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. And please, 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 please subscribe to me. I'm begging. I am. It's, it's a thing now. In 2018, we have five financial goals and a potential sixth one that I kind of need to talk to Mauricio about to see if we want to make it a goal or not. But our very first and most important goal for 2018 is to pay off our Navy Federal Credit Union loan. As of January 1st, we have $45,000 left on it, and that is our first goal. We are aiming to have that paid off in August, September-ish, maybe faster, maybe not but hopefully not slower. We will pay that off and that establishes all of the rest of the goals. We cannot move forward with any of our 2018 goals until that Navy Federal loan is paid off. That is what Mauricio and I set in stone as the point which we will allow ourselves to move. Goal number two, must not it cannot be achieved before we have finished goal number one. And you will find that all of the goals for 2018 are sequential. So goal number two, we have to save up moving expenses. Now, we are legitimately moving into this neighborhood, so you would think it wouldn't be hard. But our storage unit is a couple hours away from here. And we have a five-bedroom house worth of stuff in our storage unit. And while we can move the vast majority of it ourselves, we are likely going to pay people to move it so we can have the insurance. I did a video last year, and I'll put a link to it right up here in the eye in the sky. A few years ago, we moved from Mexico to the United States. We, I was stationed down there for my job. When we transferred back, we had been packed out by movers that were paid by my job. During the summer, we went into that storage unit looking for for, well, we were dropping some other stuff off and Mauricio decided he wanted to look at, look for his Xbox. Well, I'll come to find out the Xbox got stolen. So it is important to us that we have insurance that will cover every, cover the move. We're potentially going to use the same moving company. So it's going to be a little bit more costly. Um, but I think in the long run, it'll save us a lot of money if we use the same moving company to move us from the storage unit into our house than if we move it ourselves and then have to pay through our insurance. We will be running those numbers in 2018 for sure before we agree to do it. But so goal number two is to save up whatever we'll need for moving expenses. Goal number three is to rent a house in this neighborhood. We want to stay in the same school district for Molina. And legitimately, we have looked at almost every single house in the school district. And this neighborhood is probably one of the cheapest ones. There are no apartments. There are no townhouses. And I kid you not, not a single one, because we actually were planning on renting an apartment or a townhouse, and there are none. We do not want Melina to have to switch schools. The school is excellent that she is in right now. And so we are going to be renting as cheaply as physically possible in this school district. Goal number four, once we are out 
of my parents' house and in our own place. We are going to take two to three months of a lax budget. This is more like a timeline video than a goals video, but that's okay. We're going to relax our budget significantly for two to three months to figure out legitimately how much we need to live on, how much our heating and electricity bills and gas and sewer and all of those things that we have to pay, how much those are in addition to our rent. I know my grocery bill is going to increase, but I don't know how much I'm going to need. I know what I consider to be legitimate and acceptable our grocery budget right now is $250 a month. Will $250 a month cover us for three meals a day for all of us to eat? No, not in this area. I wish it would, but there's just not a grocery store that I could buy things at unless I wanted to eat like top ramen every day. And I do, we're foodies. And so we have minimum requirements for food. I am a pain in the butt about food. You know, I'm okay with upping the grocery budget some, but reasonably some. So we're going to take two to three months. That puts us right around December to reach goal number five. And goal number five is restarting the snowball with gazelle intensity. In December, our snowball is going to be, you know, right now we're putting around $7,000 to debt every month. It's going to be way less. It's going to be closer to two. I know that. I accept that. I, I would love to say that we are willing to sacrifice to get completely out of debt quickly, but we've reached the point where we need not necessarily to lighten up, but to have a different intensity about it. There are minimum requirements we're gonna have to have. And that's just the way it's gonna be. But we are still going to get out of debt as quickly as possible. And I, I think we can legitimately do it by 2020, legit even with moving out, even living in this expensive area. There are just some sacrifices I'm not willing to make. And my daughter's schooling is number one. I, I'm not willing to sacrifice my daughter's schooling. She's doing really well in her school. She's happy. We're okay with it. So this is what we're going to do. Now, number six is not necessarily a financial goal, but it is something that we need to talk about. I mentioned way back early on that we go to Columbia every single year to visit Mauricio's parents. In fact, I did a whole video on it and I'll link that up in the eye in the sky. This is an old, old, old video. This is like one of my first like vlog style videos. It's hilarious. I was legitimately stressed out about going to Columbia, but Mauricio's parents shouldn't have to suffer and never see their granddaughter because we have too much debt. And that sounds so bizarre. Mauricio's parents can't afford to fly to the U.S. If they fly to the U.S., it's going to be us paying for it, or we're going to fly down there and visit them. Those are the only two options. Either way, we're going to pay for it. While they talk on the phone and Skype and, and things like that, it's not the same. And I feel horrible that my in-laws don't get to see my granddaughter very much. I, I hate it. And so, I did I say my granddaughter? Her, their granddaughter. Not mine. I don't have grandchildren. I'm not that old. Anyway, it breaks my heart that they have to not be able to see their grandchild. So one of the things we need to talk about in 2017, we did not go to Columbia. We went to Columbia in October of 2016, and we have not been back since. I feel like this year is the year that we need to go to Columbia. And if we can't go every year while we're getting out of debt, that we need to go every other year for sure or maybe every 18 months. So I anticipate that in there somewhere, we are going to have a trip down to Columbia. And I, you know, that, that may be a goal, but our goal will be to pay for it with cash and incur no debt to do it and to do it as cheaply as possible, which means planning way ahead, buying tickets way in advance and saving the money to do it. It's freezing here. I am so cold, I am actually wearing a fleece in the house. I don't know what's going on with me. I have hot tea too. Chai. In my lovely Oklahoma State football mug. I don't care about football. This is my dad's. 
So if you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. We're out.